Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now, I know a lot of you guys saw the intro for my DJI Mavic Air giveaway, and a lot of you guys told me you found it funny, which is awesome. But a lot of you guys were also like, hey, how did you make two of you? Well, in case you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave the link up here somewhere. And because of that intro, today I'm actually gonna teach you guys how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro 10. Hey guys, are you are you guys talking about me again? Me? Okay, so let's jump right into Final Cut Pro 10 and we can get down to business. Okay guys, so welcome back to Final Cut Pro 10. Now that we're in Final Cut Pro 10, there's actually a few things that you need to do before you can jump into the software and start editing to create that cloning effect. And that first thing is obviously that you're gonna wanna record yourself twice acting as both characters. Now, I can give you guys a few tips on how to do this, but you basically need to act out the scene from both perspectives. And something that I like to do is that when I am saying my lines as the main character, I'll take a pause when the other character should be speaking, and if I'm still in frame and I'm not talking, I'm gonna start thinking about the lines that my imaginary character is gonna be saying, and that's gonna tell me how long I need to pause before I can start speaking again and doing my lines as the main character. So basically you just need to pretend that there's an imaginary person talking to you and you sort of have that conversation with yourself. So that's kind of my two cents and my advice on how you can act and how you can trick yourself into acting for how you can create the cloning effect later. And the other tip that I want to give you guys is that you want to record the whole thing in manual focus. And the reason for that is, is that you're going to have multiple characters jumping in and out of frame. And you don't really want the camera to be hunting for focus and trying to decide where it should be focusing. So manual focus will ensure that everything is super, super crisp. Okay, cool. So now that we have that out of the way, we can actually start editing our cloning effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so now that we're in Final Cut Pro 10, the first thing you want to do is you want to drag in the two clips of your two characters. Now you'll see that I've already gone ahead and done this. So over here I have a clip of character A, who is my main character, who's speaking to the camera, and then suddenly I react to an imaginary character B, who's jumping into frame and talking to me. And my second clip is of character B, so I've obviously changed outfits here to kind of sell the cloning effect and me being a different person. And I'm now talking to character A in this scene. So these are the two clips that I brought in. I've already gone ahead and merged the audio for both clips to kind of know um, how I want the scene to flow. Now you can do this at the end, at the beginning, whatever your preference is, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I've already gone ahead and done this. I've also created a marker to kind of help myself to know where I need to place the clip. But when you're doing this for yourself or for the first time, you're gonna wanna feel it out for when you want that second character to jump in. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the clip of character B and you're gonna wanna drag it on top of character A. Now, you wanna make sure that character A always stays the main focus of your timeline and any additional characters you wanna throw on top. Now, the main problem you're gonna notice with this cloning effect, when I, if I try to leave it as is, is that when I play this video back, when the second character shows up, it's kind of blocking the clip of my main character. Now, in order to create this, we're gonna create a mask. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the effects panel, I'm gonna type in draw mask, and I'm gonna drop that on top of character B. Now, you wanna make sure that whenever you're using any kind of masking technique, you use it on the secondary character because you don't want to cut out the scene from your primary character's background. So I'm going to do is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add these control points around character B at a point in the frame where I know that they're not going to be passing anymore just so I don't cut out any part of character A. And once I complete cutting out character B, you're going to notice that hey look character A is in frame. Essentially what the draw mask tool does is whatever part of the area of the image I cut out is going to be the only part from that clip showing. So when clip B is playing over, you're going to see that wherever these red dots are, that's the only portion of that clip that is capturing and that's why it's able to keep both characters in frame. Now one more tip 
Um, if the line is too sharp between the two seams, you're going to want to increase the feather over here just to help blow that out. And you can put that up to 100. Um, I usually do that because it's, it just looks the smoothest for the cloning effect. And that's really it. All you have to do is just drop the secondary clip on top and create a mask. So it's actually way simpler than you guys thought. And after you're done with this, you can combine the clips and color grade them however you want and they should look something like this. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I have a huge milestone video for you guys. Hey, did you tell them? I'm getting to it's it. It's really big. And that's it guys. It's that easy to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro 10. As always, if you guys learned something new from this video, please like the video, smash that like button, if you guys enjoy the type of content that I put out, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, keep creating.